Hey guys, this is the hike to Mount Zion, not Mount Zion in Israel or wherever that is. The one in Angeles National Forest here by Los Angeles. It's a fun loop hike. It's a little, about under 10 miles and uh, it's off the beaten path. It starts in Chantry Flats, which is a zoo of people. But this hike um, takes you on trails that aren't taken a lot. And some of the other guides out there have you on some of the trails that you would take on the Mount Wilson loop. I try to route you on some of the other trails that are a little less known, a little more fun, a little more off the beaten path, since this is kind of a hike for people who have probably done some of the bigger hikes like Mount Wilson from Chantry Flats already. So uh, if you want to do the hike, please go to hikingguy.com where I have the full guide, but otherwise let me show you these turn-by-turn -turn directions. The hike starts from Chantry Flat Picnic Area, which is a popular spot. And the trail starts right here where the Gabrielino starts. If you've been here before, this will look familiar. And there's some bathrooms up there. I have full information on the bathrooms on the website. Uh, but you're just going to start heading down this hill, past all the crowds, past the trail for Hermit Falls. It can get pretty kooky here. So try to leave as early as you can. And it is closed once in a while. So again, check the website and the park website before you go. At the bottom of the hill, the paved road, you're going to get to the bridge over here. We're going to cross over the bridge and then go through the uh, big intersection here where there is another bathroom. And again, you're going to get a lot of people heading to the falls, Sturdivant Falls down here. But we're just going to keep going through on the Gabrielino Trail and heading up here through the section with the cabins and the dams. And if you've done Mount Wilson from here, this will all look very familiar. Now, when we come to the junction with the um, upper or lower Gabrielino Trail, which is right here, on my guide to Mount Wilson, I recommend going uh, right to go past the falls. But instead on this one, because this is an off the beaten path type hike, we're going to make the left and go on the upper part of the Gabrielino Trail here. Now, you're not going to get the falls and the, the kind of dramatic waterfall uh, view there, but you are going to get a nice little climb and you're going to be up on the ridge here and you can see the trails in pretty good condition along here it's definitely not as popular as the lower trail but it is pretty nice and as we climb up here we're going to get some views to some of the mountains up of the canyon and you'll be able to see mount zion as you come around here too uh, but you can see the trail just sort of gently climbs up here it's not a huge climb we're going to go along the ridge and continue to uh, hike on up now, I rarely see many people on this, this part of the trail, so uh, enjoy it. But eventually we're gonna come out to the Falling Sign Junction, which is where the lower trail rejoins, and we're gonna continue on the um, Chantry Flat route to Mount Wilson here. This is the main trail that most people take. When we come through the Cascade Picnic area, we're gonna keep going straight through, which is actually back and up the switchbacks. And the trail, again, is easy to follow. This is a popular trail. There's some ups and downs. This isn't a loop where it's just one big climb up and one big climb down. There are some ups and downs as you go, which, uh, which is good to keep catch your breath. Spruce Grove Campground, we're going to go through. There's some new bathrooms here, which is very exciting. Um, but keep going through the campgrounds. And eventually, we're going to come to the turnoff um, for the Sturvent Trail and the Gabrielino. We're going to leave the Gabrielino behind, which goes off to the right. And we're going to make the left. And then just a second after going up there, we're going to come to um, the camp here. And we're going to make, instead of going into the camp, we're going to make the left and kind of go around it down over the creek. And then to the right, you can go through the camp, Sturvent Camp, um, straight ahead and then join back up on the trail. But usually I try to give them some space here. Now this trail junction is going to be important once we come up the hill. This is for the Mount Zion Trail, and you can see there's a sign here. Now this trail used to be the original trail to the uh, Sturvent Camp behind us before the Gabrielino uh, was in use, and it got washed out in the 50s, and it got restored again, this trail, in the 1980s by volunteers in the Sierra Club. So uh, relatively new, given the history of this area but the trail was originally built in 1896. And right from the beginning, as you'd imagine, heading up to the mountain, we're gonna do some climbing. Um, the trail's in good condition, as you can see here, kind of twists around as it climbs up, um, but it's not a major climb. It's not a 
gut buster and you can see here we're going to go around the stream and there's a lot of this type of thing on this hike where you go in up the stream and then climb up on the other side on the ridge here and you can see it's a little bit narrow but there's no um no real dangerous sections as you go and when we get up here we're almost to the summit we're going to go past this historical uh interpretive plaque there to the left to go up the spur to the actual mount zion summit now this part of the trail as you can imagine is a little a little narrow a little overgrown but it's definitely easy to follow there's definitely a trail trail there and we're going to go through until we come out to this clearing which is the summit here and from here you're going to get nice panoramic views you can see from mount waterman or on this side mount harvard mount wilson and around to the east mount waterman twin peaks and uh, it's a neat little place you can see there's some bugs flying around it's the summer so soak in all the views and we're just going to head back to that last spur where we just were and we're going to continue down the trail here there's that historic plaque it's interesting it gives you a little history of the trail here now in this section we're going to head downhill um, almost all the way to Hoagie's camp we're going to keep going downhill here and there's going to be some great views as we go um, I really like this section of trail there's some great views into the big Santa Anita Canyon as we go down there some interesting trail that's relatively um, steep you're gonna have some nice switchbacks and again more views as you go down it's really beautiful here uh, but we're gonna go down I think it's it might go down about a thousand feet and just under a mile so there's it's a decent descent but eventually we're gonna come out at an intersection by Hoagie's camp at the um, this lower Winter Creek Trail and if we wanted to um, go to the camp we would make the left but instead we're gonna make the right and we're gonna kind of go uphill for a short stretch here and join the upper Winter Creek Trail, which is what we're going to take back to Chantry Flat. And again, if you've done the Mount Wilson um, hike from here, from Chantry Flat, this will all look familiar. You will have come down this hike, that trail before. But we're going to go straight here on the upper Winter Creek Trail. And believe it or not, you're going to have to climb a little bit. It's not a big mountain climb. It's a little bit of an uphill. But if it's a longer hike for you, you probably will feel it. Um, but the trails aren't super steep here. They're all pretty gradual and cruisy and you can see the trail going up there that's not a long climb here um, maybe a quarter mile or so of going up um, and you can see we're continuing to go up here it's nice and shady this whole hike is pretty shady in general so even on a hot day the lower elevations are um, pretty pretty cool with the shade pretty soon the trail is going to level off you're going to come out and you're going to get some more nice views into the canyon there, the Santa Anita Canyon. And eventually you're going to come, it's about three miles, but you're going to come to um, the part where you can see uh, Chantry Flat down in the distance. Most of the time you'll hear Chantry Flat, the crowds and everything, before you actually see it. But just continue to go down here and eventually you'll reach the end of the Upper Winter Creek Trail and you'll come out to the paved road. You see there's a trail sign there. Now you could theoretically just follow the um, switchbacks of the paved road, but instead we're going to take some shortcuts and we're going to go down here to the left. You'll notice a trail off to the left going straight down, kind of cutting off these shortcuts. And if you go straight down here, you can see the trail is easy to follow. We're going to come out to a fence and then you're going to come out to the picnic area at Chantry Flat. You're just going to hop the fence and head on down. And then you'll be in the parking lot at Chantry Flat by the uh, pack store where you started. You can see the trail right down there. And that's the loop. So that's it, Mount Zion Loop. It's a fun one. Uh, definitely give it a try, especially if you've done a lot of the other big, more popular hikes uh, here in Southern California. Now, if you're watching this on YouTube, I have a link to the full video um, or the full guide right underneath the video. And please give me that little thumbs up button that helps the channel. Also helps other people find the guide. And I'm starting to lose my voice. So I'll just say, leave any comments you might have or questions in the comments on the YouTube video. And I will answer them there. But otherwise, uh, give it a try if you have not already. The views are beautiful and it's a lot of fun. So I'll, uh, I'll see you out there, guys.